everyone, I'm Stephen Caceres, this is Christopher Cardenas, and this is Edmund Imami. And today we'll tell you about a rubber band powered airplane. The idea that comes from this airplane is because airplanes are fascinating, the project itself is cost effective, and it's tension powered through the rubber band and the two tension points on the body. YouTube is also a really great resource to find inspiration for like any project science project or stuff like that. And so I want to do the plane physics and functions. So basically there's four types of uh, movement that's caused when you have uh, an aircraft uh, going in the air. You have your MG, which is going to be your weight. You have your drag, you have your lift, and you're going to have your thrust. So a lot of people think, you know, Bernoulli's principle is the real cause for, for, their, um, for lift and why an airplane can fly. It actually more has to do with uh, a lot of uh, air molecules actually being sent under the airplane's wing. Uh, what you hear, uh, Bernoulli's principle is actually, uh, it does cause lift, but not as much as you think. What's happening is, um, so the general principle is that there's going to be higher pressure on the bottom and less pressure on the top, especially moving at higher speeds. You're, uh, you're going to have, but this especially specifically with this one, we're going to have tension power, which is your mg um, times your ma. And so what we decided to do was to figure out, okay, the, the more times we spin it, the more tension that's going to be had, and the more, the more power that's going to be added to our thrust. Our thrust is basically it's going to be our moving forward. forward. Our drag is going to be whatever pushing us back. So like when the drag is caused by friction, friction in the air, and it's the greater the surface area that's, that's getting hit by these, the more drag that we're going to actually have. And the weight can be determined by whatever composites we're using for our actual aircraft. Bam, how to build it. How to build it. So basically what we did is that we got uh, balsa wood from your local hobby uh, shop. And uh, we also got uh, wood dowels and a rubber band. And we made the, we also got a feller. Um, so what we basically do is we just measured it out based on uh, design that we saw on a YouTube video. And uh, basically we just made it our own, uh, built upon the design that we saw. And how far we'll go, what we did, we based uh, our measurements on the tension of the rubber band. Uh, the rubber band. So the more tension that uh, was made in the rubber band, we found that the further the distance it traveled. So we used basically a, a meter stick to, to, to uh, measure out the, the distances. And why you should buy our toy. It's fun, it's amazing, it's tension powered, it's awesome, and it flies. <laughs> What's called? It's really cost effective. It doesn't cost that much money to, to buy. It's only $5. It's really safe for kids. Um, I think it's a great starter project to do it yourself. So, any little kid that wants to do aerospace or just wants to get in the habit of building something, this is a great starter toy for them to, to learn how airplanes fly or just how to build something in general. Bam! Any questions?